Uh, hello. And welcome back to Just RP 3.0. So as the title says today, we're going to be going over how to, of course, join Just RP and how to get started. Some of the common commands you might need, how to access some of these starting jobs, how to get started, how to make your character, of course, how to make sure you're looking good. And of course, it's a little bit of troubleshooting down the line as well. But again, we're going to be looking over again how to get started on Just RP 3.0. So starting off again, when you first join the server, you will obviously be brought to your character select screen now you will not have any characters here if you are new to the server but let's uh, talk a little bit before we actually go into the server itself how to join the server so first of all you're of course going to need to go and download 5m and of course have gta 5 owned in either steam or epic games those are the two main ones i use if you are having trouble using 5m with epic games i made a video on that as well so be sure to go check that out but you're just going to want to go and download 5m make sure that's installed in everything open 5m up and then just look on the server browser for just rp and boom you should be able to join it from there after you have course whitelisted and to get whitelisted all you have to do is go on to our forums make sure you're in our discord and then make an application from there wait till you're accepted which should be in within a week around the time of this video that's about how as long it takes for us to accept applications at the moment so expect around a week a little bit less maybe a little bit more depending on how busy we get but after you've done all that you get whitelisted and you join the server you're of course going to spawn here with a no characters created i'm not sure about this little red guy we can ignore him for now so we're going to do this exactly from the start as you would as a new player how to create a character and go about all the beginning process and steps so let's start it off so first of all again we're going to hit enter over our new character boom from here we're going to hit then confirm then after that we should be brought into this little screen a little bit of tips for when you're first making your initial character make sure the height down here this is something i see a lot of people mess up you're not going to want to write 180 centimeters you're not going to want to write 180 inches you're not going to write anything here besides just a number i believe this number has to be anywhere from 160 to 180 so just write something in there we're going to write 170 for now but that's all you have to do again no no cm no inch no nothing just 170 or whatever number you you want to do anywhere from 160 to i believe 180 should work well um this doesn't really matter too much this is going to be your character's height it won't really affect anything but i do see a lot of people mess this up or have trouble with this so just make sure it's just a three digit number there and then we're going to do gary olsen why not and then give him a date of birth let's give him an old man boom give yourself a date of birth then of course male or female we're going to select male then we are going to hit submit from here you're going to get brought into the initial character creation screen now honestly i don't recommend doing anything here because it is a little weird sometimes and also as you can see oh there we go also as you can see you don't exactly have uh the best area to create a character here but this might be changing in the future uh one thing that you will have to do right off the bat is go over at the top here and select models and make sure if you are a male your male model is number one or if you are a female your female number is model one if you do not have any of these if you have some of the custom peds then you will actually not be able to customize them as much as you would have ped one for both again the male and female so to start off again we're going to select female or we're going to select male ped one and we're actually not going to do much here because i want to get my my face looking kind of right i want to get my hair and everything and then of course i can make my style a little bit more attuned to that so what we're going to do from here is just hit save at the top hit save and then of course we're going to be a little default danny and what we're going to want to do is first of all you're going to spawn over in alta street of course you're going to want to run down most likely to the clothing store to of course get yourself clothed up and a barber shop to get your face looking the right way so I guess we will uh, first off head over to the barber shop so we can get an idea of what our character wants to look like and then head over to the clothing store and make ourselves look a little bit better so first of all again let's go head down to the barber shop this is where you will change your character's face hair uh, facial hair and a lot more customization to do with your character so let's go head over to the barber shop and i'll meet you guys once we're over there all righty so now that we are over at the barber shop we can go up in here Go up to pretty much anywhere in the barber in this general vicinity hit m on your keyboard and boom from here you're going to be able to customize your face now again you're going to want to again select your different parents of course and you can mix those two together you can change the different skin tones 
and of course change all these settings down here your skin mix your face mix between the different faces that you have selected until you get something that you like this actually you know this doesn't actually look too bad uh you can also go into the face thing change more in-depth features about your face such as your nose height your eyebrows cheeks jawbone chin all that stuff uh change of course your skin your hair everything like that make sure please make sure that you get some eyebrows as well because when you first spawn in you're not going to spawn if any eyebrows so make sure you're not looking too crazy and you got some eyebrows on as well let's get some hair on why not boom looking good looking good uh damn bam there we go looking good you know we're chilling out here um and once you're happy with this also if you want to get a more in-depth look at your face you can hit the head button here to have it zoom in on your face although uh the customization definitely looks a little weird that way so i usually prefer to stick with the body view but whatever you want and when you are done of course at the top as we did when we were first spawning into the server hit the save button and then you should be good to go now of course we are uh, not looking the best we just got a little t-shirt on some jeans and then some uh d default shoes so what you're going to want to do as i said earlier head back over to the clothing store and get yourself customized a little bit more so let's head over to there and then of course i'll show you guys how the clothing menu works as well all righty already a little crazy cop chase going on today it seems now that we're over at the clothing store we can walk in here hit m to change our clothes make sure your cash is not negative because if your cash is negative the clothing store will not work so again let's hit m in here and then from here we're able to go over to clothing change our different well i can change our hair from here as well if we want to but we're able to change our various different tops of course we're able to change our undershirts arms and gloves pants shoes and decals all that stuff uh now something to note if you do have stuff kind of peeking through like this and you have stuff uh, meshing with each other what you're going to want to do is go over to undershirts or not undershirts sorry what you're going to want to do is go over to arms and gloves and adjust this option from there you'll be able to make sure it's all good and of course when you are done uh, just to make sure there's nothing meshing together make sure to hold b to point around make sure you know again your skin isn't poking for your jacket or anything like that but uh let's get you know some nice pants on as well get looking a little bit better why not maybe we can uh get some shoes on again you can hit the different head body and feet to change the different views let's get uh let's get some nice shoes on boom there we go and then of course you can also hit the accessories thing on the top as well if you do want to add a mask to your character like so or maybe some glasses some earrings or of course any different accessories you will be able to add from this area so let's add on a mask for here just to give you an idea of uh, how it's done so boom we have a mask on and that's going to be pretty much it for kind of creating and starting out your character uh you also do spawn with a phone and we'll go over the phone very shortly but that's going to be about it for actually creating your character and getting fully started on just rp now of course there is a lot more so let's go into that so first of all again i think one of the most important things and something you're going to be using almost a lot a lot of your time over here on just rp is of course your phone now you actually will start with a phone but uh you know again how are you going to access that phone what you're going to do is actually hit p it will bring up your phone and then from here we have quite a couple apps we're just going to go through these very fast as most of them are pretty common sense first of all of course yellow pages app normal yellow pages here people can post ads you can call people from these ads and see the different ads in this area we then have the vehicles app where you can see your own vehicles we don't own any yet so of course we're not going to see any here we then can see the properties we own which again we just have our alta street apartment which is given to every new player here you can actually store different uh you can store items as well as of course have a nice little spot to relax in the downtime you can hit this my keys thing if you do have a vehicle that you own but you do not have keys for it you can just click on this app and it should give you your car keys to any owned vehicle the web app is not currently have any function at the moment uh, we can check where we're working at the moment here as well by hitting the work app we can also check my info see a couple things such as again your employment status the different licenses you own in the status of those licenses your bank balance as well as your cash you can also check your cash and bank balance by doing slash cash to check of course your cash and slash bank to of course check your bank balance now going on we have our emails here which is usually not done for much stuff but uh some npcs will give you an email that you need to check out or if you're uh fine from pillbox or pd i believe they will show up here as well 
keep going on the locations app we're able to ping a bunch of different locations around the city and of course if we actually had our own house we'd be able to ping that location as well uh pretty nice here again nothing too crazy uh, we keep going on we have the selfie app where we're able to take a little bit of a selfie if we want to boom let's take our selfie right there if we want to uh if we do want to put away the selfie app just again bring up your phone of p click on the selfie camera and then you should be all good to go going on there's only a couple more left uh there is a stocks app where you can buy bitcoin and see other different kinds of crypto that may be used in the future um, again, this is not actual stocks. These are just going to be another form of currency on the server. Keep going on. We have the Find My Location app. We are able to ping other people by their PayPal ID or by their ID, which you can get again from looking at the top left of your phone where it sees it, where you can see it. Again, we can see ours as being 227 or holding you. And then we we're able to see our ID as well as other players around us's ID um, above our heads keep going on here with the phone the last app the housing phone um pretty straightforward app this is if you own a house you're able to of course store your car at it manage your keys to your house decorate it um and of course set the different locations for different areas in your house and that's going to be about it for these main apps up here we of course then have the calling app where you can see your recent calls or dial a number from this ui we keep going on we of course have the messages app where you can see all of your previous messages and the different text message conversations you have with other players we then have the contacts app where you can see all of your contacts of course since we're a new player we don't have any but we can also add a contact from here very easily so we can do test and then put in a random number and boom uh well i think we have to have yeah then boom we have a little contact here again this is not going to work because it's not a real number but that is how you would go about creating a contact and then of course you can also modify that by clicking on it and calling the person texting the person or deleting their contact altogether and the last step on the phone is of course twitter and you're able to see a bunch of different tweets from people here everyone can kind of just tweet whatever they want it's just kind of a place for people to chill out and talk about stuff going on in the city and that is going to be about it for showing you guys the phone and how it works so next being a new player there is a couple things that you're going to want to know just for how the mechanics of the server work first of all the f1 menu we're going to go over real quick so let's start going over that so to bring up the f1 menu you're just going to of course hold f1 as it you know obviously sounds like and from here you're going to see this wheel now this wheel may change depending on a couple variables such as as if you have a specific job if you're inside a vehicle if you're inside a place that of course can utilize the f1 menu there is a couple uses for this that will of course change depending on your location and the status of your character so as we can see here we have the general where we can go and look at a couple different options such as seating and unseating a player from a vehicle escorting a player examining your vehicle which you can do if the hood of your vehicle is up and you are near the front of it uh, you can of course give keys to the vehicles and that's going to be about it for that general menu we keep going on we hit the blips here you can blimp the gas stations around the city if you would like to from here you can also change of course your different walk styles if you would like so again we can change the gangster four then of course we're going to be walking a little differently than we normally would and then we can of course go back to the default from here if we want to uh the last menu is of course expressions this will just change your face uh nothing too crazy here it will change your facial expressions as your character or of your character if that makes sense and to go on the next big thing and probably the biggest thing you'll be using on the server is the third eye which you can bring up by default with the alt key and it'll bring up this little spinning rectangle or square which will of course might be changed in the future and with this you can hover over various different things around the city and bring up options so again if we go up to an atm and bring out our third eye and hover over it we're going to be able to access the atm or if we do the same thing over here at the clerk over at the register we're able to purchase goods or of course raw the store from here you will need of course some other things to be able to do that though of course but again i'll show you guys how to access the atm so if we bring up our third eye as i said before hover over it left click we are then bringing up our cursor from here we can hit use atm and of course bring up the atm area and the atm will also show your history i believe the history is a little weird now because it does show it across your different characters but i believe this should be fixed in the near future but you can of course deposit withdraw and transfer money from here as well as a couple other things such as being able to see the recent deposits and withdrawals as well as transfers from and to your account uh we can go 
go over to the general store which is going to bring us to our next portion of this video going over the starting stores as a new player so of course there's going to be a couple starting stores you're able to access right off the bat uh, and that i recommend probably checking out uh, one of those is the bike shop if you want to purchase yourself a real beginner vehicle you can purchase yourself of course a bike here uh, such as the different bmx bikes or the cruisers to get around on you can of course go to the different u tools again one located in the city in the south side and one located on the east highway you can check these out and they have various tools to help you along as well as the different general stores around the town so if we go up to this general store and again third eye over the register we're going to be able to purchase goods here and again the general stores have a bunch of basic goods and of course some very expensive food and the reason this food is so expensive is because it is made to force people to actually go rp for their food and talking about food that brings us to of course the different restaurants around town so there are a couple main restaurants such as a burger shot and noodle express over here as well as lucetti's pizza more in the center of town we're able to go in and most of the time they will send out ads when they have people working there and you're able to go in and actually purchase food from different players there and purchase different kinds of food of course from the different restaurants there is also another restaurant up here that is not being used too much but people have recently started running it so it's going to be interesting to see how that goes up there with the pops diner but that's going to be about it for how to kind of get food and water as a new character definitely recommend going to those restaurants as you actually get some rp out of it and the prices there are a lot cheaper than any of the general stores another thing you might want to do as a new player is actually get an id and you can get this by heading over to the courthouse here located near legion square so if we head over there we're going to be able to actually purchase a license for ourselves so if we get pulled over we're going to be able to show that license to the officers and we're going to be all good so let's go ahead over to that courthouse and show you guys how to do that as well also as a new player as we head over the courthouse a very very nice spot that you're going to want to use and i use quite often even as a uh, more experienced player is the rental shop so this is located again a little bit near pdm and it's this little icon over here this little blue car if we come over here we're able to again bring out our third eye by holding our alt key hover over this guy and of course rent a vehicle from him and you're also able to actually hover over a lot of the different npcs and that is the main way that you will interact with different npcs on the server so that is definitely handy to keep in mind so again let's third eye over him and from here we're able to actually rent a couple different vehicles um we're not going to rent one right now because again all of our money is 500 dollars in cash so uh we're gonna see if actually so we're going to probably save that money and I recommend doing so the same. But if you're going to go work on something, I definitely recommend renting yourself a vehicle to get around instead of stealing one. Because then if you, of course, pulled over, you are all set and you will get rental papers as you rent it. But again, let's check out this courthouse real quick. So if we head in here... We are then able to, of course, head over to the front desk. And from here, we should be able to third eye, or actually not third eye, my bad. We should be able to actually hit G to actually grab our ID. So boom, now we have our citizen card. We can see, of course, our first or last name, our sex, as well as our date of birth. I actually prefer keeping the stuff at the bottom of my inventory. But again, that is all up to you. Now uh speaking of our inventory you might not know how to actually access your inventory i believe the default key will be k but you can of course change this by and you can actually change a lot of different settings on the server all within the actual keybind menu so if you hit escape go over into settings go down over to of course keybinds click on that then all the way down on 5m this is where all of the custom keybinds you are going to be able to change so we're able to change a lot of stuff anything from opening our inventory which again as you can see i have set the tab um of course opening up our phone you can change as well you can change your general use thing here for e as well as g so again if we wanted to switch these around we can change the key that we grabbed our license with um you can change how you lock your car uh, you can change pretty much all everything that you would want to change here you're going to be able to change for 5m i definitely recommend looking this over a bit uh, because again make sure you know you have the keybinds that you want and stuff that kind of works better than you or that seems a little bit more familiar but you're pretty much able to change all of the different keybinds here for all of the main stuff on the server so definitely recommend when you first get in the server looking through this list and kind of changing the stuff that you would like to change or changing it to different keys that you are more used to now of course being a new 
player some things to keep in mind is when doing certain actions such as the third eye and f1 try and keep them relatively slow or even just moving items in your inventory try not to just be like moving stuff all the all around all the time although 99 percent of the time it's going to work fine if you do have a high ping your inventory as well as your third eye and f1 menu can be affected by it so try and do stuff within like a half a second uh wait in between each thing just to make sure you don't bug out but if you do bug out and you somehow get let's say the third eye stuck oh my there's a little bit of a gang war going down uh in the south side that seems to be what all the shooting is about and oh yeah we're gonna stay away from this area i actually got questioned by an officer we're gonna stay away from this area seems like there's a gang war going on actually at the moment but again if you do get your third eye stuck or you have problems if you your ui not showing there's two basic commands you're going to want to do to fix these and the first one is going to be of course hitting f8 and doing do and then typing fix ui one word and this should reload your ui so if your f1 menu is stuck because i've seen that get stuck a couple times uh although it's kind of hard to bug it out when you want to I'm um, trying to bug out stuff as much as I can. Here we go. See, now our menus are all bugged out. I'm not holding anything. It's, everything's kind of bugged out here. So we're going to hit F8, fix UI, and then boom, you should be good to then go. So again, that's a very useful command. And that is going to be the primary uh, kind of fix for a lot of stuff to do with your UI getting stuck or glitched or anything like that. Definitely a very, very useful command to know. Now, next, we're going to be going over the map a little bit, explaining some of the different buildings and areas to you guys so you can get kind of a better idea of what's what when you join the server so again if we hit escape to bring up our map boom we're able to see quite a lot of things of course now there are a lot of different starter jobs such as trucking fishing mining hunting and recycling as well as with a couple other ones as well and there also are a bunch of different whitelisted jobs such as pd ems tow trucking the different restaurants and a quite a couple more but again i did make a video on all these starter drives on the server so if you want to get an idea of how to use them check out that video it should go into all of these starter jobs on just rp 3.0 and i do believe it is updated but next we're going to be talking a little bit about leisurely activities you can do on the server when you're kind of just hanging around of some friends and you want to have fun so the first one and my personal favorite one is of course the suyagi drift school this opens up usually during almost every day or every other day you will see it opened uh, there will be people posting ads on either yellow pages or twitter about it so definitely recommend checking out the drift school they have quite a couple custom cars and quite the nice course down there as well um, we of course also have the laser tag arena with three different maps and two different game modes being a death match or team deathmatch as well as capture the flag and this is able to host up to 10 players in a single match definitely a really fun game to go play with some friends and it can get obviously quite competitive then there is of course rockford records which is the rock record label in town uh, that is owned or operated by mitch stanley which is one of the biggest rappers on the server definitely a cool guy they do uh, quite a lot of parties here they do events they do recordings quite a lot of stuff here definitely a cool place to be as well then there is of course weasel news uh these players will actually create news for the server and i believe if we actually go up to one of the newsstands in third eye we should be able to grab a newspaper so uh let's actually go do that real quick and show you guys how that's done so let's go up to this little newsstand here and if we third eye again hover over it we should be able to again check the news we can see uh new stuff here again this just got in yesterday so every day again the people actually at weasel news will be able to update this as fast as they want which is going to be really cool and you're going to of course be able to check the news kind of in real time here you can also check uh who was recently sent to jail and for how long i'm not sure if the one month thing is correct but that also might be how much time they have left at the moment but again weasel is hopefully going to start posting these news daily and of course changing them based on different current events going around in town so I definitely recommend picking one of these up every day and kind of seeing what's going on and to keep going on with the leisure activities around town 
there also is of course the vanilla unicorn strip club which is actually located right here although currently is not open hopefully this will be opening up very very soon and of course there are a lot of also hidden leisurely activities that are really really cool which again i unfortunately cannot talk about in this video because of meta but there are a lot more leisure activities to do on the server and there's probably going to be a lot more added in after the creation of this video but that's gonna be about it for the leisure activities on the server now there's of course a bunch of stuff to do um so i definitely recommend going out there exploring talking to other people and kind of figuring out what you would like to do on the server but that's going to be about it for the leisure activities over on just rp now again there are a lot of hidden ones as well that are really fun uh, i mean they might be considered a job but a lot of them are really fun and there's a lot of stuff to of course learn and explore that is not marked on your map so i definitely recommend going around talking to various different people and of course exploring a bit yourself now let's go into some other common commands you will find on the server so first of all a couple things to do with your character you can do slash m0 to actually take off your mask like so and of course slash m1 to put your mask back on you can take your hat off with slash h0 if we had a hat put it back on with h1 as you would guess same thing with glasses you can do slash g0 to take off your glasses or put them back on with slash g1 you can also access all of these more easily by just doing slash clothing and it will bring up this area where you're able to just easily take off your mask like there instead of having to do slash m1 if you do want to do it in that style another common one is going to be slash give cash so if there's a player that you want to give some cash to you would do slash give cash and then their id which again you can check by holding u and checking that number above their head you're going to do slash give cash then of course their id let's say one and then give them the amount of money you want let's say $50 hit enter and you're going to be able to give them that money and of course cash and that's going to be about it for kind of the basic commands again most of the stuff is done either through your third eye looking at a certain object or through of course your f1 menu but i do believe that is going to be about it for this quick little get started guide for just rp 3.0 hopefully it can explain to you kind of the most basic stuff about the server if you do have any questions about anything specific don't be afraid to ask in the comment section below but hopefully this video did help you out i tried to make it as quick and as short as i could to hopefully help you get started when you do want to join the server but without further ado if you guys did enjoy this video of course make sure to leave a like and if you want to subscribe and i will see you in the next video